Is Mother Teresa really the saint she's cracked up to be? Here are five disturbing facts about Mother Teresa that will change the way you see the world's most famous nun. According to multiple accounts in the Washington Post, she encouraged secretly baptizing dying people, whether they wanted to be baptized or not. Also, according to a close companion of Mother Teresa, Father Mossberg, Mother Teresa and her nuns would sneakily baptize Hindus and Muslims on their deathbed so they could go to heaven with the real God, of course, not their made-up one. That's less about taking care of the dying than it is pushing your religion on the dying. Also, Mother Teresa called AIDS just retribution for improper sexual conduct. She said that in 1989 while being honored at a luncheon for the International Health Organization in Washington, D.C. To be crystal clear, Mother Teresa thought that the AIDS virus was God killing gay people for being gay. You might be thinking to yourself, yeah, but that's just a product of that era. They were still calling AIDS gay cancer in 1989. They weren't. 1989 was well after AIDS was understood to be a disease that anyone could get. And it was even after Ryan White, the teenager who famously got AIDS from a blood transfusion, began speaking publicly. Mother Teresa just wasn't having it. Continuing down the line of weird things for a person known for helping the sick to say, Mother Teresa said leprosy is a very beautiful gift from God. To put that completely in context, she said that leprosy was a beautiful gift from God because it was a way to learn to love the unloved. In essence, people with crippling and disfiguring diseases, and one can assume just sick and poor people in general, aren't really people. They're just tools from God for healthy, happy people to gawk at to learn how to be compassionate. Basically, Mother Teresa took care of sick people to help herself more than she did it to help them. Of course, those last two things were just things she said. How about actions? Actions speak louder than words. Well, when it comes to her actual health care, the hygiene at her clinics was absolutely abysmal. The oftentimes untrained volunteers at Mother Teresa's homes just didn't know how to keep a medical facility running smoothly. One former volunteer at Nermal Herde, Mother Teresa's favorite home, claimed needles were washed in cold water and reused. I'm going to say that again. Needles were washed in cold water and reused. Also, according to Forbes, soiled and infected clothes were washed by hand and reused. All this despite $72 million in annual donations to her facility. Speaking of that $72 million a year, which she clearly didn't use to update any of her health clinics to provide better or even basic care to her patients, no one knows where the money went. A 1991 investigation by a German news magazine called Stern revealed that only 7% of the money at that time was actually used for charity. The money has been controlled by the Vatican since 1965 and there's no transparency about how it's used. In 2008, former Superior General of the Missionaries of Charity, Sister Nirmala, told the media Mother Teresa's charity received countless donations each year, but she wouldn't get into specifics about what it was used for. She said, and I quote, God knows he's our banker, which, as I'm sure you're aware, that's not how money works. Also an insane thing to say. Your uncle said, God's my banker, what would you say? The takeaway from all this is that, in truth, Mother Teresa obviously wasn't the saint you maybe thought she was. Of course, the Vatican never lets the truth get in the way of a good story. I'm Jordan, and those are the most disturbing facts about Mother Teresa that you maybe didn't know.